He's worked in many genres of film and television, but it's his sci-fi and action work that fans go wild over. Starship Troopers, Alita Battle Angel, and now he's playing a father in the movie Daughter. But I can't do this without you. In a couple of years, he's going to be all alone. And I want these last few years to be special. And after that, all of this, all of this can end. And you can go home and you'll be safe, unharmed. You understand? Ah, uh, this actor, producer, and director is also our CW family member from All American. Please welcome on this Wednesday morning, Mr. Casper Van Dien. Good morning, mm -hmm. Casper. How are you? Good morning. Doing great. Great to see you. Uh, so, already off to a great start, Casper. Mm -hmm. The movie Daughter, rated high on Rotten Tomatoes. You know, a lot of films live and die by the Rotten oh, yeah. Tomato meter. <laughs> so, you're off to a fantastic start <laughs> yeah. there. Also, scored really high with audiences that screened it. So, break down Daughter. What is it about? And why is it so creepy? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I, um, <laughs> my, uh, my, my manager didn't, he, he goes, I don't think you're gonna wanna do this because I'm a father and, and it is a pretty creepy role. And, and just reading the script when it said, this is based more on fact than fiction, really put the hairs on the back of my neck, uh, got them up a little bit. And then just reading this, it, you know, it's unfortunate that you hear about stories like this, but then to see the psychological aspect of it from just being in it was, he was a pretty intelligent director. The writer, director, Corey Deshaun is incredibly talented and I think he's done a, I think he hit it out of the park with his first time doing it. So without giving too much away, can you give us a little bit of what you're talking about in terms of the uh, the premise there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's primarily, it's a Vietnamese cast um, and people of color. It's more, over 60% were in the crew and the uh, and, and over 60% were women. So it was really, uh, you know, I just played the old, crazy, mean white guy um, who's the father and he wants to protect his son and he will do anything for his son, even if it means exchanging a daughter who wasn't doing what she was supposed to do for a new daughter. Oh. And uh, uh, yeah, it's it, it, it's really kind of horrible. It's not yeah. like a horror movie. It's really a psychological thriller. It's one that, that when, he, when he's filming, he did it all on film, which is the first time I've shot all on film since Starship Troopers, oh. primarily. Um, and, and they even used the first original Polaroid and a camera from 1970s. And, and the camera package we had was from the 90s, which I don't recommend, but it was all on film. So uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. They're very, everybody was so talented and they brought their A game and I, I was just I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Awesome. So we, we know this role of a father seems to be a departure from your past role. So I'm curious, what was it about this father role that drew you to it? And what mm -hmm. aspects of it did you did you like? Did you kind of get into? Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, uh, there, there's not really much redeeming about him. So, uh, but the, the character study was, this guy really believes this. And, and the people that actually abduct people, go out and do this kind of stuff, they probably believe it too, because they, they're completely nuts. But uh, this guy really believes it. And he, there's, a, a, there's something that's wrong. There's something that's off. And you guys will see that as a film audience watching it, but also it's just long static shots. Yeah. And sometimes I think we're getting too, I'm like, like everything's so fast paced nowadays. This was just really beautiful to have something come in and push in on you and then, and then all of a sudden I'd be like, is this too long? And then I was like, oh no, whoa. And, and I got uncomfortable even even watching it, even seeing it afterwards, but reading the script I did. Yeah, and, and I, from our, our understanding, your daughters and your wife were uncomfortable and even freaked out by your appearance when you'd come home from the set. So what happened there? So I just, I sent the director, I had a beard. I hadn't worked in a, a little bit, so I had a beard and he's like, yeah, keep the beard. And I go, can I part my hair down the middle? and just go back. He goes, yeah, absolutely. And I came out with this look and my daughters and my wife were all like, oh, gross, dad, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and they, that's with no context of the script. Right. So I, I <laughs> Just drive, based on appearance. Yeah, just based on appearance. So I would drive to work like father and then I would drive back like father and like, oh, dad, please just, 
change your hair. My wife was like, I can't even look at you. I can't even look yeah. at you. And this is about them having any context of the thing. And all I did was part my hair down the middle. It wasn't like some big thing. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of your family, Casper, in real life, you have family in the business. We just saw a great shot of you and your daughter, Grace Van Deen. Uh, she most recently starred in Stranger Things playing Chrissy. You posted about seeing her. At, at a Comic-Con event, something that you could obviously relate to. What was it like seeing her there and kind of building this professional relationship with your daughter? Mm. I, you know, I'm very lucky. I have uh, amazing children. And my daughter, Grace, is just, uh, she's just awesome. It's awesome to see her. I, I love to watch her with her fans. She's so loving and kind and uh, open and I uh, just couldn't be more proud of her and, and her mm -hmm. talent. She's just, she's just so focused. When she was a baby, she was so quiet on my sets. Johnny Depp held her in her hands in Sleepy Hollow and oh, wow. said she was the cutest baby ever. And then she was in <laughs> Africa when I was Tarzan. She was, you know, on, she's on so many different sets. Um, she was born during Starship Troopers, so it's just like full circle. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun because also she cheers for the Tigers in Stranger Things, and I played for the Tigers in Starship Troopers. So it was kind of, you know, the football team in that was uh, the, the Tigers. So it was the same thing. Yeah. So it's kind of. That's amazing. Full circle. full circle for yeah. sure. By the way, Starship Troopers, it's just like, it's one of those, it's like the gift that keeps on giving, right? Uh, inspiring oh. so many new shows and movies. You know, what do you think it is about Starship Troopers that just like really holds the, the test, the time? I think Verhoeven, Paul Verhoeven, and Ed Newmeyer are both two complete. I mean, they are geniuses. They have genius IQs, but they're so smart and and they really get satire in the point where they're not trying to shove it down your throat a little bit, maybe, but but to the point where some people you can take different points of view. You know, there, there's the left and the right will claim this movie, and it's always been funny to me to see that because they get a different perspective from the same director and same writer. Uh, it's just had legs, and the, the, the visual effects have been amazing. I have another movie out right now called Mad Heidi, where I play the Swiss dictator slash president of, uh, uh, of uh, Switzerland, and I'm, uh, like, it's the cheesiest movie. It's a, they call it the first Swiss exploitation film. It's the cheesiest one, and they have all these references to Starship in it. Mm. So I cannot get rid of Starship. Yeah. It's something that is always there, and I'm so grateful for it. Very nice. Casper, we love you. Thanks for being here, okay? Love you guys, too. Thank you for having me. Great talking to you. We're going to be on the lookout for all of your upcoming projects because I hear there's a heck of a lot of them hitting at the same time. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> you can see Mr. Van Dien in Daughter, okay, and on demand and digital right now, special DVD release on May 9th. Casper, good to, good to see you. Yes, I'm intrigued. Now I have to know what this is about. Yeah, I you're going to watch it.